All right, welcome back to WM Macy Now with your host Chuck Stevenson, coming at you with a special fight preview. So we're going to Singapore for one championship, Unbreakable 3. We're going to the one atom weight division, 115 pounds. Stamp Fairtex coming in at 5-0, and oh, taking on Aliona Rasohina coming in at 12-4. and four. On paper, at least, this looks like Stamp Fairtex's toughest test to date. You know, she is a very favorite of the promotion. Uh, before we break down the fighters individually, let's go ahead and take a look at the stats here. Fairtex coming in at 5-0, and oh, undefeated as a pro MMA fighter. Rasohina coming in at 12-4. and four. She is coming on off of two straight wins, both of them via, via armbar submission. The Ukrainian fighter is the elder of the two, 30 years to Fairtex's 23. They are the same height, 5 feet, 2 inches, 157 centimeters. I do not have a reach available for either of them. Should be around the same for each of them. So that are, is the stats for this fight. Let's break them down individually. Let's start with the promotional newcomer that you're probably not as familiar with. Let's talk about Aliona Rasohina. So Rasohina has a very active guard game from the bottom. She is constantly attacking, constantly looking to sweep, or constantly looking for submissions. Always moving from submission to submission. If one's not working, then she's look hunting for another. So she has a very active guard game that I feel could work in her favor here as Stamp has not faced anyone with a guard game quite like hers. Uh, she also is very fast to capitalize on opponent's mistakes. I've seen opponents try to get up from, from inside her guard and she just like immediately latches on to the leg if it's left there. And I've seen her capitalize on other mistakes as well. So in addition to just attacking constantly, if you make a mistake, she's going to, to attack that as well and try to capitalize on that. And finally, she has three times the MMA experience that Stamp has. I mean, five fights to 16. That's slightly more than th just over three times the pro MMA experience. So, and she's also been in there with higher level opponents than Stamp has as well. She's, she's been in there with Sahi Ham, best Adam weight in the world, and she's also been in there with a former Invicta champ in Katya Konkanpa. So she has definitely been in there with some high-level opponents. Now, one downside to Rasohina that I've seen in every fight is in that her striking still needs work. Uh, that's going to be a major hindrance against a world-class Muay Thai fighter like Stamp. I hope she's been working on it since her last fight. Um, one other weakness I've seen is that her clinch takedowns are much better than, you know, her wrestling style penetration step takedowns, you know, going for the legs. And honestly, that could easily play into Stamp's strengths in the clinch as well. And then finally, she's just inactive. She's had, she had no fights from 2014 to 2017. She fought once in 2018, once in 2019, and didn't fight at all in 2020. So while she is the far more experienced fighter and has been in there with some far better opponents than Stamp has, she just has not been very active as a fighter. So that is it for Aliona Rasohina. Let's talk about the promotional favorite here. Stamp, let's talk about Stamp Fairtex. Stamp obviously is a world-class Muay Thai fighter. She is the former one championship kickboxer, boxing champion, and the former one Muay Thai champion. World-class Muay Thai. She has been fighting since she was a little kid. So when it comes to stand-up striking, she is practically second to none in her weight class. She also has a very good control of distance. Likes to use her low kicks a lot to maintain distance and is not afraid to reach out with her jab as well to keep in her preferred outside, you know, kickboxing range. So in addition to having that Muay Thai, she uses it very well to keep the fight at her preferred range. And 
Also, from what we've seen so far, she has shown good takedown defense. Now, I haven't seen anyone really try to take her down from the clinch yet, but she does very good against wrestling style takedowns, people that are gonna shoot in on her legs. She has a good sprawl from what I've seen so far. Now, Barley Stamp's biggest weakness that I've seen, and I think everyone would agree, is that she is largely untested on the ground. She has not faced a legit good ground fighting opponent yet. They've almost all been either primarily strikers or fighters who are just well-rounded, but not necessarily great in any area. So she has not faced a, an opponent with a ground game of the caliber that Rasohina is going to bring. And also, and this could really, this is gonna end up working, you know, against Stamp eventually, is that one championship has been giving her soft touch after soft touch after soft touch. Every opponent she's faced, and remember, she's bringing in a lifetime of combat sports experience, not necessarily MMA, but every time she steps into the cage or, or the ring, she brings in a lifetime of combat sports experience. So she is either getting a huge skill differential in her favor, or they match her up with opponents who are visibly a lot smaller than her, like B. Nguyen or who was her last opponent, Sunisa Sreesen, were both visibly a lot smaller than her. So she has been getting a lot of soft touches. So that is Stamp Fairtex. So what about the keys to victory? So let's stay with Stamp for a moment. For Stamp, she's going to want to stay on the outside. She's going to want to stay in that box and the kickboxing range where she does really her best work. Her clinch is great, but I feel that she often does her best work on the outside. And against a ground fighter like Razohina, she's going to want to stay on the outside to keep the longest distance possible for those takedowns. Now, she's also going to have to be mindful of those takedown attempts. Now, should Rasohina get her down or should she take Rasohina down? She's going to want to avoid playing in Rasohina's guard. Because like I said, Rasohina, she has a very active guard game and she is going to just keep on attacking and hunting for submission. So if she reacts to Rasohina trying to take her down by taking Rasohina down herself, Stamp is going to want to avoid staying on the ground with her in her guard. Now for Rasohina... She's gonna to need to close the distance, okay? Like I said, she does her better clinch, her better takedowns from the clinch. Her, t her, you know, wrestling style, you know, takedowns from the outside aren't just aren't as good from what I've seen. Now, however, even though she's gonna to wanna to close that distance, she's gonna to want to avoid prolonged clinch battles because while Stamp probably does her best work on the outside, She's a beast in the clinch as well. You don't want to be getting caught in that clinch and just eating knee after knee after knee. And then finally, Rasuhina, she's going to want to get stamped down. She's going to want to get her down, and then she's going to have to hunt for subs. And honestly, even though she likes to play in the guard a lot, she's going to want to avoid prolonged time on the bottom because Stamp does have some decent ground and pound. And if she's not careful... She could get mounted and just start eating ground and pound, and depending on the referee, they could make it a very short time, giving her time to improve. So, especially if it's Olivier Cost, who's just a terrible referee. So she's going to want to avoid, you know, spending an excessive time on the bottom. Get her down and hunt for submissions. Okay, so those are my thoughts on each fighter and how uh, I feel the fight could play out for each one of them. So, how do I see this fight playing out? Well, my pick is going to have to be Stamp Fairtex. And here's why. Yes, Rasohina is Stamp's toughest opponent to date on paper. She has that experience. She has the ground skills. However, she has been largely inactive. I mean, Stamp, in the a, in a time that it took Rasohina to get to fight two times, Stamp has had fought five times and has fought in kickboxing and Muay Thai fights as well in addition to that. So Stamp is coming in very fresh, coming in with a lot of momentum. And, you know, one championship is their weight. Uh, 
matchmakers are no dummies. They booked this fight for a reason, and it's because it's meant to make Stamp look good against a fighter who is very tough on paper. I'm going to go with Stamp Fairtex to win this one. I'm not 100% on this. I'm like 80-20. I just think that Rasohina is going to have a hard time getting Stamp down, especially from the clinch. And her, like I said, her wrestling takedowns just aren't strong enough, so... I see Stamp being able to keep this on on the feet, or if she gets it down, I see her being able to do some good work, some good damage before standing up and taking it, forcing the fight back to the feet. So I'm going to go Stamp to win this one. Okay, so those are my thoughts on this fight. Now this goes down on, or excuse me, the fight airs on Friday, February 5th from Singapore. Uh, it is actually already pre-recorded. It was recorded last week, so... It's not a live fight, it's a uh, tape delay. Anyway, let me know your thoughts on the fight in the comments down below. Now, if you liked the video, please give it a like, and while you're at it, go ahead and subscribe to WMMA Scene Now, the most complete women's mixed martial arts dedicated platform on YouTube. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.